Hello everyone and welcome to another new energy drink review. So a couple of reviews back, I think it was review uh, number 81, we reviewed the Monster Dub Edition Ballers Blend which I have right here. Um, and I liked it, it was pretty good. But the one I was always really waiting for is this one, Mad Dog, because it's supposed to be the original Dub Edition. And the original Dub Edition is my favorite monster, my favorite energy drink, my favorite, probably my favorite drink of all time. It's so good. In my opinion, anyways, not everyone would agree. Um, so my own, first of all, my only complaint with the can is I think for the purple areas of it, they should have went with a dark purple like how this one is. As you can see, there's quite a difference in the colors there. I think they should have went with a darker purple. I don't know why they went with such a light one. It looks faded. Um, but you know, can design never affects our ratings or anything here. So let's have a look at the description. We've been hanging with Miles, Haytham, and the crew at Dub Forever. They keep telling us the Dub Show Tour crowds have been screaming for a Monster Energy punch. Mad Dog is the original Dub Edition Monster Energy inspired by the streets, clean lines, killer punch flavor, and packed with full load of our signature Monster Energy blend. Dub Edition Monster Energy, a customized formula in collaboration with the Kings of Customization. So, as you can see, it says right there at the beginning of the second paragraph, it says, Mad Dog is the original Dub Edition. Okay, so I've determined it. The ingredients are the exact same for both of them. Exact same, 100%. So, unless in the flavoring, they've used something different, which I don't think they would have, then, then this should taste the exact same. Okay, so it's, I'm just going to take a smell right out of the can. Oh yes, dude, that it smells like original dub edition. I'm so happy. This is my favorite energy drink. Finally get to drink it again after eight months. Wow. Here we go, man. I'm not going to pour too much into the glass. Uh, I just want to do that to get the color. So as you can see, it's a pretty rich, dark red. It's not like the baller spun. That one had like a pretty bright red standard fruit punch color. This one, you hold up to the light, it's pretty clear, but, I mean, you just have it sitting there. It's just a pretty dark red, like red wine, I guess. That's it. That's the stuff. There's this, uh, f almost kind of fuzzy flavor that it comes with. Like, it almost tastes like raspberries, but, like, actual raspberries, not, like, a blue raspberry, like, Mountain Dew Voltage or something like that. Like, I'm talking actual raspberry juice. It has, like, a fuzziness to it. Um, um, but it's weird because you get a more full load of the flavor coming out of the, the glass. Because I only ever drank original dub edition out of the import style resealable can. So, um, it has a, di it definitely has a different flavor out of there, but it's not as different as I thought it would be. But that's definitely original dub edition, so I'm really happy about that. It's really good. It's definitely a punch. Um, I never really thought about it before as a punch. But I, mean, but I mean, I guess it is, though, because when I'm thinking and trying to determine what fruit the flavor is, you can't really. I mean, there's a lot of different fruits that you can taste in the drink. Um, to me, definitely the flavor that's coming off the most strong is uh, it's like a strawberry, a bit of raspberry. Um, the cherry comes out a little bit in the aftertaste, but I wouldn't go out and say it's a cherry flavored drink at all. It, you can hardly taste it. Um, get a bit of grape, like it's a bit of a. The grape part kind of reminds me of Jones Whoopass. If anyone's ever had that, that's kind of a similar uh, sort of flavor. Now that the store is carrying it, that, that is on the way to my school, I'll probably be drinking this a lot more. But I might, I, what I might do is I might purposely not drink it as much, just so that I don't ruin the excitement of it. But it's really, really, really good. Um, gotta give this, uh, for a rating, um, I gotta give this a 13 out of 10. No, you know what, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it an infinity out of 10. Like, I'm, I'm not even... I'm not even kidding. I'm going to give that an infinity out of 10 because that's my favorite energy drink, my favorite monster, my favorite drink out of everything in the whole world. Like, literally, that's, like, the best drink for me. So, 
uh, I have to give it an infinity out of ten. I'm serious. I, it's the only drink I would ever rate infinity out of ten. Like, I mean, that's it. That's an infinity out of ten for the Monster Dub Edition Mad Dog. And in case anyone was curious, some people say it tastes different, but I think that's just their imagination trying to tell them that it's different because it's in a new can. This is original Dub Edition 100%. The ingredients are the same. Don't know if the color is the same. It looks the same, but... Uh, and the taste is definitely the same. As soon as you smell it, you'll know. That's Dub Edition. So, yeah, that's an infinity out of 10 for the new Monster Dub Edition Mad Dog. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.